shifted awareness ejects from waking body to transient being in formless disarray color bending design still infinitesimally tripling reflection casting outward light impossible to capture with naked eye or camera the birth of light starts right here amidst this fluid bless you tender mystic in your tactless craftless inability to imprison this unseeable glow know that you are only temporarily infinite your host body must not be left to lie there while the acrobatics of rapid eye movement culminate into a spectral malaise of astral ascent the fragrant wandering of five physical examples of tangible dependency in an endless palace effervescent and ever without law wall or ceiling a changeling born in a barren prenatal environment, a fallopian lifeline and watershed program. Slip and slide through the Cheshire Surrealist novel diary, held up in a wardrobe above the fireplace in a brick oven, warmed over. Step through the depths of internal questioning, breathing sensual images and ceramic sunsets in a panoramic nativity. A statue crying tears of blood in a faithless wasteland of coarctate Easter bunny bronze cast in molds with limited air pressure, condensed in a womb of chocolate coated resonance. Commencement across a chalkboard landslide in the deciduous region of a foreign psychological landscape in digitized harassment, perverse to a pair of dueling fish in mere image. Flip side antics and W2 tax forms overwhelming the pulse rising of blood pressure. 6,000 RPM internal combustion, blood pressure, sculpted Barbie vessels in a deluge of leaky valves, pink under the heat of a sun god's fury, behind the sulfur excrement of a Vulcan forge, written in Old English in constitutional font, soaking up the torrential view from a fourth person perspective, and a primitive cave art spirit journey hallucinatory sojourn, and silver crow body crossing astral planes of existence, where where inorganic life forms dwell in the seven depths of a puddle's reflection, a mirage shimmering under a simmering swelter where cacti and gila monsters swim in the heat wave. Solid traitor dragging it back inward with a lively hearty grip that would that slip nothing were it not fluid but the handicap is only half unfortunate the unnerving speed of an invertebrate born of illumined plasma is essential to its survival as is its candor part of its inability to close its hand around anything is its complete apathy with regard to decency it's the no tipper stick a quicker burger up a sponge for stuffing up the unspeakable phenomenon of the unconscious a paragon or a figure of speechlessness if you will pride open and hard pressed the undressed version of the truth as naked as it is sacred or the other way around Swimming is like dreaming, is like stepping off the edge into the fluid of beneath, where sleep is rarely heard from. As of the waking rules of engagement, its strength is deafening, effortless, stainless, challenges structures, sought after power, inherent knowledge. Swimming is like dreaming unfettered by gravity, a handicap unrelated to consciousness. Consciousness as it relates to unconscious cosmology. The eye of an observer able to look at what he sees with a telescope pointing inward. Inward, unifying awkward little steps. Children startlingly insightful, climbing heavenward. Heavenward, heavenward, heavenward. Grueling opuscules, many masterpieces. You must have been a fool to think that your patchwork infiltration could hasten progress and regress to faceless brother-like misunderstood monkey sight leaning on subject of observation and an iron maiden of probing towel on silver eagle sightings landing in what a better disguise for gestation pods than a whole big pile of watermelon sitting in a great big cardboard box except for the umbilical cords little big babies are like little watermelons with lemon heads lemon drops are a spitting image of crystallized urine splitting headache on splitting quartz rocks in a headlamp with a harpoon and shaving the wall in a mind shaft with my eyes stinging red from the kumbaya fireside vibration that is encircling our very essence ring around the headless horseman during an outbreak scarlet fever and a nasty case of bubonic plague a darling hula hoop salesman stationed at radar base alpha tango eating a mango in the tundra with eskimo pie people melting an igloo icy party trick and you end with subliminal suggestions might get me laid if skillfully employed i've enjoyed making high frequency low fidelity imaging imagine your mind drifting into another and intermingling without singling out any one image you see an entire ocean of ubiquitous spectral life bordered by darkness and Starlet vortices, the winding gear-like motions of the universe's spiraling outboard motor. 
we're mechanism too. Brutal uses akin to botched family planning visits. Accidents happen, but not inside a vacuum. 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 Uh, hello, De uh, hello, Dimitri. Listen, I, I can't hear too well. Do you suppose you could turn the music down just a little? Oh, oh that's much better. Yeah. yeah. Fine, I can hear you now, Dimitri. Clear and plain and coming through fine. I'm coming through fine too, eh? Good, then. Well then, as you say, we're both coming through fine. Good. Well, it's good that you're fine and, and I'm fine. I agree with you. It's great to be fine. <laughs> now then, Dimitri, you know how we've always talked about the possibility of something going wrong with the bomb. The bomb, Dimitri. A hydrogen bomb. Well, now, what happened is, um, one of our base commanders, he had a sort of, well, he went a little funny in the head. You know, just a little funny. And, uh, he went and did a silly thing. Well, I'll tell you what he did. He ordered his planes to attack your country. Well, let me finish, Dimitri. Let me finish, Dimitri. Well, listen, how do you think I feel about it? Can you imagine how I feel about it, Dimitri? Why do you think I'm calling you? Just to say hello? Of course I like to speak to you. Of course I like to say hello. Not now, but any time, Dimitri. I'm just calling up to tell you something terrible has happened. It's a friendly call. Of course it's a friendly call. Handicapped organizations springing up everywhere. Organizations that serve handicapped people, such as the Retarded Citizens Association, the Easter Seal Society, the Multiple Sclerosis Society, and others. Keep going. It's worth it. Modern marketplace bearing their empirical tokens. Dynamical systems of our own. Dynamo systems, dynamical systems, the intrusion, the physical form into our spiritual reality. Blowing out the corpses and the cliffs that are lining our. These creatures only vaguely resemble humans, falling far beneath the line, beyond the line of what is human. We are mutants from a stupid bucket. The heroes stuck in a bucket. At the bottom of a well, like he's trying to find my soul, but as far as he knows, he's just a beast. Lost in our gears, rising in the grinding gears of our brains, and I know that I'm just here, refraining all the conscience. Thanks, 
have normality of our sensation for breathing in some sensual images in our mind and our modern theory of tag gifts are caught up in our own hero stories and our myths all that remains is us all that remains is us the foreign bodies to which it's whining it's mingling without singling out a visual image we are the rest of foreign bodies in the mind of the great body we are featured subtangled about each other like seaweed at the bottom of the ocean and I know that I will feel the ocean welling up inside me it's the depths, the internal depths I'm questioning myself and I can't find any other reason why I should be existing here on my own but I'm here with two bodies intertwined about each other the rest of the world forming the rest of the civilization the cradle in our own stand with conformity we are obscurity the hub of obscurity in the center of the universe is our own minds it all exists inside, out, and behind the walls. It's the brick walls that are like the hands backs it up against them. They corner like frightened creatures, but it's straying away from animals. The wrist of an idiot in the marketplace. We're the hunters, but the gatherers, the prey. The hunters, nomadic people running around on bicycles with electronic drones. The hunters information, imagination. Death or decision, we're just dividing by of liquid falling on the moon. The ladder, we're like water and ink. Water and ink, the bifurcation intermingling. Jellyfish like structures. Formation of jellyfish. Smaller paragons and forms of turbulence and chill. Matter liquid gel flying through the air or water. Fix a cup of iced coffee, dear telephone, Jim Jesus. I gave a cup of ice coffee to the funny man standing on bench stilts, designing an artificial edifice designed flawlessly to tilt. Breathing in the combination of an exhausted animal life source, fossil fuel that feed the creatures of a redundant civilization created in the bowels of an EV experiment. Human species served underneath the silver planet of a man and planet, plus the life of a school beat of a baseball card, sign the beat of a solid march. Starch converted into sugar, artificial day down between your plus of on the lips of a mammal, sadly dangling up in legs, and conditioning split animals in fear of a great loss suggested in the retail aisle on the west side of the story in the second floor apartment. We tangle our emotions away like a rabbit turned a shepherd, ruptures wrapped up in questions, catching dreams, and to war plastic fish with loose and soul distributed from an assembly line behind the scenes of control on the weed. People will see really close to coming code in the sheets of ramp up for cotton and animal track and deserted to the cave.
Shining artists with color with good colors Shining all its ordinary two bodies beating each other Hardly starving artists with color with good colors Shining all its ordinary two bodies beating each other Hardly starving artists with color with good colors Shining all its ordinary two bodies beating each other Hardly starving artists with color with good colors Shining all its ordinary two bodies beating each other Sullen dispositions for us, entertainment needs awakening, forsaking all that is apparent. Options which are obvious are often obsolete, a solid fleet of precious few, luring the curious into our oubliette. What a way to spend a thunder moon with the same tune stuck in your head. You've been bred into mediocrity, born into slavery, has been too been had by the establishment. But where the black rabbit went, no one may follow. All thought is borrowed, but in beyond the boundaries of what's considered inward, find their rabbit truths, videotape and picked up gizzards. Stranded in purgatory, lured by the black rabbits, sticking our necks out across the line to go beyond the normal boundaries, founding fathers with hands down at the dawn of a new temptation, casting aside applicable standards for the sake of art and creation. Outcasts bonding atrocities, but beauty in their own eyes, a wilted petal on a rose bush, or a pair of snuff film protagonists, self mutilated disharmony, hardly bearable but contagious, raging predators, hunting sustenance, lusting unfamiliarity, barely traceable in passing, a shadow western impermanence, earning the oxymoronic burden, carrying a lack of social acceptance. Nicodemus, what'll it take to win the race with this race of comatose slow pokes? Hooked up into their IVs, repairing the human form was never so goddamn easy. The image makes me queasy, and these simpletons drive me crazy. Four minds in a landmine field of broken dreams, where my home is built like an adobe. We are protected from the sun, the sons and daughters of martyrs without fathers or mother. Backbreaking is the labor we perform beneath the ball of star liquid that hangs above the truth. Taking change, beginning humble, unsettling beauty spills to tears and earwax. These star twins join the event horizon, the horizontally spattered trails of craters deposited by white hot heartbeats of sun blood. on all fours, pushes from the void upward against where God might be to plead with the cosmos for copyright protection on the source of motion, the linear long hand of a majestic void, rest of form last to be seen outside the lunar excursion module just before the moon was vaporized, the lid of my baby's firstborn bearing the signs of the onset, expanding and then contracting with each sacred inhalation, juxtaposed against the heart's stillness, rapid fire breath only makes the stars glow brighter, brighter, brighter. My voice no longer knows me, and my wife asks incessantly about the scars that litter this body, beginning with the small ones to the ones that seem to clutter up my flesh almost entirely. Fires in the jungle make the air thin and blood thick. How many children you make is how many children you starve, starving like the Godhead, only not for oxygen. Feels as though it might float away like the red balloon, only divine and royal blue. Consider the tint of darkness I have touched. Still mortar and pestle hammered together, mallet thrust against the wall repeatedly. Proliferation sank from the sounds of silence, left to science and organ donors. Red Cross records show them overdue and returning blood to their library of glass and deoxy rival nucleic acid. So many theorems compressed within those walls. The ancient record souls forever lost, just check the date inside the cover to see when it was last borrowed. Immortal sorrow, full sparrow of the night, a hawk looming just outside the turnstile. Library card clutched in peak, last date borrowed. 9579. Give me back my three sons slept and unconscious for too many years. The collective sentient seed of sleep was planted cheaper, counting, counting down to extinction. Electric people weaving tears of tempered haunting my misfortune. Disreputable oddities are my specialty, my special recipe for success is one quarter. Close your eyes, three quarters, forget them here. An endearing word couldn't hurt at all. My heart is foolish and disciplined, murmuring palpitations. Thick blood saturated all the way down the pipes. The pipes connect with the other pipes and form endless networks. Anatomical teamwork is important a topic as any. Now, we have brought in our special...
Specialist, Jimbo Taxidermis. Come in, Jimbo. Oh, no, all y'all fucking good. Yeah, we're okay. Now, the tricky part here is the initial repair sequence, you see. It's important to first identify the problem. Let me take a seat here. Okay. We must first begin to examine the staple adequately in order to isolate the problem. Now, look closely here, you'll see the staples are not connected as usually a row of staples are. Now, if you look below there, there are some very important numbers and words below the staples that I want you to pay very attention. Only use genuine number four, sweet line. 100% steel uh, staples for best performance, okay? Yeah, it's 100% round wire staples, okay? You follow me, motherfuckers? Now, listen to me here, okay? This is very education, very important, very important, very important to think about. Now, you take the staple out, you want to be sure that you're being safe. Safety first here, you don't want to get stuff stuck into your cuticle or your fucking fingernail there or your throat or your eye. Very dangerous. Staples can be very dangerous to. Ah! 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 Let me take this blind. I got one in the fucking eye here. I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm going to have. Ah! If this is the 747. These models are very tetanus prone, I've heard. Uh, we did a little seminar back in. Jesus, there's so much blood. Uh, at any rate, what we need to do now is. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we have to take out this bolt. Now, over here you'll see that I have my special staple bolt removal tool, uh, also known as a screwdriver, which is a common misconception. This is, in fact, not a screwdriver, but a staple bolt remover tool. Okay, this is very important. We are now going to remove the staple bolt from the stapler in order to give it a sort of a free range of motion so we can get in there and do what we need to do. Okay? Sort of like, uh, you know, irrigation and surgery. We're going with the same kind of fucking concept, okay? Mandinga, we got to clean this fucker up. She's in bad shape. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, there's a lot of documents that need to get stapled together. There's some term papers and whatnot. Uh, yeah, so now you press this here button for tacking, and what that does is it allows you to open the staple all the way up, okay? All the way up, so if you were, say, putting up a bullet board, you know, like a sort of, uh, you know, uh, no ethnic uh, impurities would be allowed in our, our community, sort of uh, board, billboard sort of thing, uh, this would in fact be very useful. So, but for our purposes, we're going to open her up here, open her up like a can of worms. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> here, can I get so, yeah, we're going to open it right up and just take a look at the problem here. And the problem seems to be the little chunk of finger. The little chunk of finger stuck in action there. You see how that's moving? You see how that's, yeah, that's cluttered. That's in some way obstructed, and it's important for us to remove the obstruction in order for us to get that stapler working at its, at its, uh, at its peak performance. Okay, so what I want y'all to do is just pay real close attention here as I use, I, I sort of, sort of, I'm going to use my, 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 my bolt removal instrument here for sort of a double purpose. I'm going to pry that little hunk of finger out of the fucking thing right there. See what it, oh, it fell, there we go. Okay, now I want to just pry right out there. Now, I'm just going to kind of wipe out. There's a little bit of blood. Looks like a child's finger. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. If there was an accident, maybe an art class or something. Okay, good. Now, are there any questions? Uh, yes, I have a question. I have a question. Uh, what's the fucking question there? What are you, fucking Cambodian? What, what the fuck are you? I am not Cambodian. You slash Brazilian. My father was Russian. Okay, yeah, what's up? Okay, what can I do for you? Uh, what can I attain uh, such a swing line stapler? I have uh, many staples at home, but uh, none of them have sort of the classic appeal of that particular model. Well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, ironically enough, you ain't gonna find a staple like this at Staples, which is sort of funny in and of itself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> of course, I understand, sir. Uh, but where am I going? Well, you gotta go out looking, you gotta search, you gotta hunt for these things. I mean, it's like any other, uh, you know, antique quest, really. You gotta go out there, you gotta fucking get to know the people. You, uh, it's a whole culture. You gotta look closely. You gotta hunt down these fuckers, you know? You gotta look for a yard sale, flea markets, 
wherever you go find old face, you go find old staples. I mean, you know, we, we take for granted documentation in our modern civilization, our modern society here. But in fact, uh, many years ago, there was, there was still a great deal of documentation uh, floating around, uh, you know, in, in certain uh, circles. And, uh, okay, I want to look for the little out of sales then. Good, good. Any other questions? 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 Hey, little girl, uh, what happened to your front tooth? I lost my tooth while I was sitting on a toilet making uh-uh. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
understand the hilarity anymore. I gotta laugh. Oh, it says on the deathbed I didn't laugh enough, do they? I can't take it. It's too funny. I can't, I can't handle it anymore. It's just too hilarious. I'm Catherine Zeta Jones, I'm Homer Simpson, speaking binary neurolinguistic programming to small business loan applicants at a union improvement convention. I'm a Salvador Dali turtleneck homicidal maniac digging through the rubbish for truth serums and proofs and theorems. I'm ten dollars stuffed in a pair of hush puppies. I'm a coloring book that's required reading for theologians and silos, motherfucker. I'll make pancakes all day and let the stool samples accumulate. Well, balls to the wall and no holds barred. I'm charred remains. I'm a barbecue retard at Jason Robards' command. Put your hand in the hand and watch it break. Faith is nothing but coffee grounds, beepers, and cell phones. Tyler Walker profits and their fucking safety nets make me sick. They keep pushing the release for apocalypse, and I just want it all to end. I'm pissing in the street while I hump this beat. Simpleton athlete, intellectual half-breed activist. I work hard for humanity, like the Fox Network, you hippie genital. Perfect slurpy, rather skinny puppy all the way to the carousel. I'm taking my dick out on the merry-go-round, and that's all there is to it. I'm leg warmers, I'm flash dance, I'm hash pipes, I'm plastic shoes, I'm jelly bracelets, I'm the red cloud splitting over the temple. I'm a monster monk, I'm a Suzuki doctor, I'm a broken Nintendo, and so are you. I'm as confident as shit comes dead as I explain when you play and say it to be a part of my team. My motivation and depression, I feel good right now. I'm sleeps and sounds in five shades of brown. I'm a bathhouse vomitorium and know if only my walls can talk. I'm the world and I won't stop. I'm your mom and I want my own cock. I'm a chain link fence. Survival of the freshest is no longer an issue. I'm praised and blasphemy. I'm an energetic demonstration of neo brain danger. I am a stranger, regurgitating factoids for the enjoyment of others. But it's like I'm talking to myself, cause I'm everybody. And when I walk the streets, it's hard, because I am the streets. I love myself, I am the beats. And as I club an elf, I realize it's me, and it's time to take shape. It's real simple, ding dong, don't think you big shit. Just be everywhere and watch everything. Can mean you return it to you like a nasty case, looking last fever. I'm out to go and get it on with Carol Seaver in the episode where I burst in and brainwash mine till he forgets his name and gets convinced that he's lame. He's tiny tip in a wheelchair. Faker, I'm Uncle Amnesty International Space Station Alpha Bravo Tango Zebra. See the face on that $20 bill? That's me. I'm ready to be what you want me to be, baby. Don't forget my number. Well, you can't because it's a time of day, but just a dime a day. You can save me from the children and feed some nuns. Take some pictures of your bleeding gums. Who wants some sucker? I'm the missionary in your mail. Box stale, make sale, boat jail, big. Give me that ass, I'm ready to kill. Bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me, bet you wish you could see me, bet you wish you could be me. The name of the song is Finish My Rhyme, and that's exactly what you're going to help me do. I'm sick with the metamorphosis into the chassis of an estranged entomologist entrepreneurial entertainer. We are the same, and I've been too enthusiastic for far too long. Thus, the theme of bipolar discombobulation. Watch me come apart of the scenes. My simple minimalistic view of cradle therapy on other sofas, time to plow in the great Socratic method cabin in the cabaret. Lingerie to sleep away, they cast some mortal solitude and angle steps recovery. Polish deep, multiple and logic with angle tails and superheroes anchoring the child's dreams to the floor of the shoreline. On a Jerry Sandler's cash. Just the counter store for pills and peas in the paper bag that doesn't amount to a hill of beans. 
Yeah, just a body spot in front of the door, body of water, my flesh fall and flex in the mirror for the folks viewing at home. The folks that only throw will come, I don't ever see this huge acclaim. He asked me half of what they got to quarters so of this and that. He's 20% wide and 30 metal and 50 half and half. Losing keys to unlock doors and furthermore, the soapy on the rear of your mirror is fatally out my door and crushes pain. Precious cast the momentary point of systematic breakdown. On a motor roller coaster, burning metal and love letters, the overheated toaster oven is lovingly wicked cuts and bleeding juice beneath the sea. With smaller body salt, comes out of all replete the scene of a menstruating catastrophe. While bodies breathe, we fill the trees and exhale in bitter streams. A portrait of a charmed angel mirrors my often prodding lens. Cradling the infant's flesh, creation of America, coast me too. Planted on the dagline, the slip of an oak is unibrow. The bottom flowers fed to the god ahead of you to shift the badge of evil lower so to the chest of children and from centuries for a rubble in a day of being in mind. Status needs to develop binary, go to seize the reason sequence, weather dust and other extraordinary. I depend on the utensils in the hands of heaven, heaven is playing with the formula of strength from the lamp that's all my ancient motor miles and so to find the wholesome mystery to the dream of the crazy living the dream of the simple life. Another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine another night in this place I can't possibly imagine Wandering through the frost expanses, glancing 
in each direction, collecting empty bottles of nothing, dispensing the air between each cavity, traveling everywhere at once, a momentary lapse of reason, ceasing everything in homage to the divorce of sleep and conscious, the dream will never be acknowledged. I could have sworn I just felt a disruption After all, poker games are dangerous places Concentration and chance and numerology Neurolinguistic programmers, dealers and big spenders Creating a natural environment of living individual figures A corrosive extraterrestrial mathematic framework Which can be formed a whole legal system of numbers Disturbing the surrounding life force More life force falling off for the minute As the clock is away like neurosis And it's questioning for sanity's sake Call production now I feel like sawing someone in half a magic trick to cure this hunger, standing up against the body, creating observation against truth. Organism, mechanism, barbarism, doctorism, best just feel expected. Other worlds of feel as well as this poorly direct and leaning on a looking glass. My shadow was perception of the relevance of jewelry to existence. I'm looking at what I see with what I see with what I see. I'm looking at what I see with what I see with what I see. I'm looking at what I see with what I see with what I see. I don't know how or why I've come to this point. My television is endless. It stretches into the nonsense of a wall that's now the lover of this beat is like synecdoche. Connecting me apparently with the dark heart of the infinite reaching from the free. From new asphyxiating the emptiness of space. I am wasting all my kisses on the structure of this place without knowing the fragility or considering the improbability. I walk through the gate to a hole in the wall and recognize the old smell of eternity. Overnight realization of humanity is this bananas with prophecy and all the confused but at least I see what's happened here. I wonder if this experience is the same for everyone or if there's a chat room that's entirely devoted to decoding the prophetic ranting that is popping up everywhere and spreading like an influenza. There are five different conversations going on in my head and so I scarcely feel functional and I hardly feel hopeful. Racing between each of its unfortunate subjects Featuring an obese parade of stretch fans filled with round bodies Parents already, but parents to me The camera cannot capture the stinks of body odor and diapers But the eye can see the hunger in their faces The secret starvation and infrequent fulfillment Their one doctrine is one of gluttony and low-cost living And then the watcher from the rear of the set Enters from one o'clock, replete with cap and leather smock Each shot still adds on Leaps like the amphibious telescope of ice inside montage Only to come to rest upon the tripod of the brothers Lumiere The waitress, who herself is not long off from the swell of pregnancy and the hell of maternity. Subsequently, the months that followed would become years of abuse, leading to the physique that would waddle down the aisle at just the right moment. In a ridiculous red cloud of garment, she may very well have dressed for this. A moment of silence, please, for the retarded man and the fat woman. Two character actors of the finest quality and caliber, tragically doomed to be forever pursued by the cruel pretenses of studio execs, their automatic pencil sharpeners, operated by underpaid secretaries, pitch after pitch, storyline and concept. In the end, only arriving at Disney approved resolve, recalled contracts, rescheduled screen tests, performed repeatedly, only revealing hidden talent without appeal. We're all struggling, no names, only half expecting callbacks. Through the eyes of Bergman as each lifespan is cut short by Boomwell's sense of dreams they butchering. Blasphemy for the disbeliever crouched beneath the table. 
the lousy report maintained between producer and director leads to both the abuse of drugs and, and fellow, fellow cast members. Costume and set design that were once set to the sounds of an orchestra, replaced by the sorcery of industrial life and magic. Sinatra became the hack of the moment he was rendered digital. Reanimated forms and canned laughter of the dead hum. The digitally remastered set of MGM Wizard of Oz with a cleverly morbid myth of a hangman. Superimposed. Oh, and let us not forget the child starlet with bound breasts in the good old summertime gang raped by her barbershop quartet. Cursed forceps drying from her, a sleeping lies of Manelli. The innuendo and suggestion in the factoids coincide. Only a child fucked on camera could produce those dreamy eyes. So beloved and cherish the images of the innocent. Sailor when sought after the motion pictures end. It's sudden, sad, and thankless. So, so abrupt and impatient when the credits finally roll. If that's what you want to call it, this energy that is constantly created and destroyed simultaneously While it's impossible for either to occur, everything in my environment I look at as absurd This information is folded like the waves of the tides, it's a move with this lunar excursion module You can just call me the body, despite the archetype, I am just really a conduit, a drifting water faucet I am the plumber, in his own right, take him out of his element, all of this compartmentalization so prevalent on our civilization We break everything down into cubist realities Like the blocks that hold up the pyramids Only look at the top and the structure in its whole entirety This is us We are holistic, medicinal people All healers and feelers and thinkers We got feelers out for emotion or a resonation An echo from the cathedral We are only people looking for rhythm and wisdom And looking for it in all the right places Here it is right here Red Pyramid Project in the Black Rabbit Trust we haven't got our newspaper out yet, but it's soon to occur. It's gonna happen, all of us. We will manifest and do what we always wanted to be what we can be. That's what I say. And always come prepared. And leave MCs empty handed and scared. Representation clauses, grounds for punitive damages, awarded to bastardized, reclusive humans. Can't say I blame them, I blame us for the diffusion. Separate is handshake arrangement, let's make a deal with the dead, we'll speak for you. While you remain quiet, dry eyes, endless, chilling, already freezing body, beating frenzy in a friendly fire type as ballet. Singer broken off in bass and stuck in the side of a broken neck, face swollen and dreamed of state of dissimilitude. Voice of pointless speech, rhythmic heavy breathing topographers, every one of us, body of the extinguished flame, sedentary skeptic, paralyzed in the face of true casualty. Casual glance can't capture the narrative silence. Pause and soundtrack. Resume mainlays. Praise is a clever insight into the monarchy of guiltless naked imaginings. Running in the cold. Shot in the arm. Bathhouse brothel. Recycled clothing conveyor belt efficiency. Perfect precedent setting incident. Fragment of undiluted suffering. Huddling masses. Perhaps less than send every topic that might cause real concern. Rhetoric recited by a cynic with the luxury of living desolate wellness and pondering meaningless works of art. Two men trading are two men trading. Don't expect the face of God to make a surprise appearance. Locked in cryptic language, the mighty autor of this half human, condemned by a condensed fence with images and obstacles, clarity and breath, the movement originates in nature's one last true run on sentence. Well being not meaning to offend, but it hurts to be the 
shattered mirror rising for a moment then descending once again into depth and shadow shaded shaking shards of ice and armor speaking to a vanishing vantage point where the vanity is piled with the other furniture against the door in lieu of locks shading security and compassion furiously assembling a fabricade rendering falsely accused ideas of safety or serenity amenities benefits perks of the experience weary from travel tip back in a chair not intended to recline but I find these are the most habit forming In the middle of that kindling wood, said poor Brer Rabbit, all mixed up with all that tar. Brer Fox, he kept talking about that fine rabbit stew they're gonna have as soon as the fire gets hot enough. So he said, First, I'm gonna not be paid clean up. Brer Rabbit, he laughed at that. He said, <laughs> Go on, <laughs> nah, nah. Bye, Pat.